Hi, I'm Heather from CarSeatBlog and CarSeatSite.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a locking clip with a convertible car seat. Sometimes the shoulder belt causes the car seat to tip. That's because as it gets tighter, the shoulder belt pulls up on one side and causes it to tip over like that. So by leaving the shoulder belt unlocked and using the locking clip instead, we will eliminate that tipping. So let's get to it. Start by running the seat belt through the rear facing, rear facing belt pad. I find it easier to lift the cover off of one side, usually the side closer to the buckle. You can lift both sides of the cover, but this usually gets the job done for me. So buckle it in, leave the shoulder belt unlocked. Now pull the seat tight, pull the seat belt tight, just like that, because we're installing the seat now. And then grab the seat belt nice and tight. Okay, don't let go and grab your locking clip. We wanna place the locking clip within an inch of the latch plate. The latch plate is this piece right here. Now, the easiest way to put the locking clip on is to pinch the seat belt like that, and then the locking clip just slides right on. Okay, so we get that within an inch. Once it's on, it doesn't really move, so it's going to look like that. Then we flip it over and double check that all four prongs are on the seat belt, just like that. If four prongs aren't showing, we want to make sure like if one portion of the seat belt is out like that, we want to make sure that we get all four prongs showing because that's how it stays safely on the belt. Okay, now make sure, and this is why it's important to pull up one cover of the, one corner of the cover because we want to make sure that we don't have any twisted seat belt through here. Okay, so nice and flat. We want to rebuckle it. If rebuckling the seatbelt is too easy, then we know it's probably too loose. And if it's too tight, you may need a help, helper right through here, so get a partner. Okay, so let's see. There we go. Okay, now grab the car seat at the belt path and use your non-dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to grab with my left hand and I'm gonna pull side to side left and right, and then front and back. Now we want the car seat to move an inch or less, preferably less than an inch, okay? So this car seat is not moving, but I wanna show you something. It's gonna be hard for me because I don't have a whole lot of room here. Okay, see how much it's moving right up here? This is normal movement for a rear facing car seat. There's nothing holding it right here. The further away you get from the belt path, the more the car seat's gonna move. Okay, but when I come back here to the belt path, it's still rock solid. That's what you want, okay? So normal movement right up here, normal movement right here at the belt path. Now you see that as I grab it right up here at the top, it messed with my recline angle so what I can do is I can come back here with both hands. So I'll grab one hand down here and one hand up here at the top of the seat. And I can jimmy it back into position. One way I can fix this is before I even get started with the installation is I can put pool noodles or a tightly rolled towel underneath here. And that will help me keep my rear or recline position. So that's how you install a locking clip. Thanks for watching.